March 22nd, just like the others. All the other nations near Israel had kings, and Israel was starting to want one too. How would they respond to Samuel's advice about whether or not they should have a king? In 1 Samuel 8, 6 through 20, Samuel was displeased with the request, and he went to the Lord for guidance. Do everything they say to, to you. This is what the Lord replied, for it is me that they are rejecting, not you. They don't want me to be their king any longer. Ever since I brought them from Egypt, they have continually abandoned me and followed other gods. And now they're giving you the same treatment. Do as they ask, but solemnly warn them about the way a king will reign over them, please. So Samuel passed on the Lord's warning to the people who were asking him for a king. This is how a king will reign over you, Samuel said. The king will draft your sons and assign them to chariots and his charioteers, making them run before his chariots. Some will be generals and captains in his army. Some will be forced to plow in his fields and harvest the crops. And some will make weapons and chariot equipment. The king will take your daughters from you and force them to cook and bake and make him perfumes. He'll take away the best of your fields and your vineyards and olive groves and give them to his own officials. He will take a tenth of your grain and your grape harvest and distribute it among his officers and his attendants. He will take your male and your female slaves and demand the finest of your cattle and donkeys for his very own use. He'll demand a tenth of your flocks, and you'll, you will be his slaves. When that day comes, you will beg for relief from the king you are demanding. But then the Lord will not help you. But the people refuse to listen to Samuel's warning. Even so, we still want a king, they said. We want to be like the nations all around us. Our king will judge us and lead us into battle. Well, Samuel warned the Israelites very plainly that he would not like it if they had a king. But the Israelites didn't want to hear it. They wanted to be like everybody else. At times, we all have acted like Israelites. It's easy to fall into a trap of thinking that because everyone else is doing something. We should too. When you're trying to decide whether to do something, listen to God's instructions, okay? And the advice from godly people who love you. Don't just follow the crowd. You have charged us to keep your commandments carefully. Oh, that my actions would consistently reflect your decrees. Psalms 119, 4 and 5.